I hope you can see me. You're off center because you're on a pile of blankets. Um, this is being filmed at, uh, 10.30 on August 12th. So I don't know when you're watching this, but whenever you are, I hope you're enjoying it. Um, so I'm in the process of pre-filming a couple videos before I go to college. I'm back in this spot because everywhere else in my room is covered in every earthly belonging I've ever owned. <laughs> my room, my my bed is covered in every article of clothing I've ever put on my body. So my life is a mess, my room is a mess, my me my head is a mess. But um today I wanted to talk to you about my favorite bookish content creators, booktubers. I'm not I don't know why I said it like that. But so first off, I just wanted to say that booktube is it has a very special place in my heart because I always was like I'm too I'm too nerdy, I'm too dorky. This is like I'm weird. No one else feels this way about books. No one else like cares as much as me and that makes me weird and different. And then you go on YouTube and there's a whole community of people who feel the same way you do about books and literature. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm an English major. Um, basically what I want to do with my life is I want to study um, like literature, books, uh, particularly like um, women and sexuality in books. So booktube is kind of like what I want to do forever. Only maybe more academically than this, but honestly, this way is kind of better because this way you're like having tea with friends and talking about your favorite characters and their deaths. But I don't know. I love book two. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So my number one favorite book tuber of all time is Paperback Dreams. Uh, Cat. We have the same name. I wish I was as cool as her though. Um, she is just, I would die for her and I would marry her. She's just this tiny little salty bean and I just, she's so good. And her videos with her sister are hilarious. The Hamilton um, lyric challenge is like what I watch when I'm sad. So you're probably not watching this Catherine, but I love you so much. So keep doing what you're doing. I just watched, um, her Fifty Shades of Grey video, and now I'm torn between like reading it, like as an asexual I feel like reading it would be my worst nightmare, but also there's so much cringeworthy content that I feel like I should read it, like I'm obligated to. Um, Crescent Moon Reads. Um, Rhiannon is such like, in my mind she's really such a facet of the booktube community. Um, she really just like is so involved and she not only does she create like great bookish content like the typical like tags and hauls and like TBRs and stuff but she also creates these really thought provoking conversations in regard to our little corner of the internet so they're just like all of her videos are really creative and great discussion starters and I love her so much so Rhiannon what a being so, Little Book Owl, uh, Catriona was actually the first booktuber I started watching. I just moved you with my foot. So, Catriona was really the first booktuber I started watching, I think, along with um, Emma Books and Zoe Reads or whatever her channel name is. Zoe. You guys know. Um, Read with Cindy, uh, Fictional Lives, and Katie's Cuddly Book World are... My three besties, I love you so much. Oh my god, subscribe to every single one of them. What beans, what angels. Ugh. Cindy creates these like, oh, she's she's so funny. And her editing is amazing. Um, especially her Crooked Kingdom breakdown video. Top notch quality content, I love her. Um, Sophia, got a little girl crush on you, not gonna lie. She's, um... She's so cute, and she has the same opinions on characters as I do, so that's super nice. Um, and then Katie 
is, first of all, such an angel, and second, she's just so, so funny and, like, emotional about books, and I am, like, the same way, so it's so nice to see that. Um, yeah. So, I love everyone on this list, but especially those three are little pieces of my heart that <laughs> are spread about. Oh, I love them. Okay. Something to add, um, I low-key have written a script for a Harry Potter fan film, so if you guys would be interested in me producing that, finding people to do that with, um, so I don't know when you're watching this, but I'm hoping you're having a good week when you are watching it. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys all next week. Bye! I feel like I could pull off Remus. I would need to find a James, a Sirius, and a Severus. But I could do that. I'm going to a big university. I'm sure there are people who are equally nerdy as me. So if you guys would be interested in seeing anything like that, then please tell me down below.